Ball Alert Artist Spotlight Rory Talk Rory Talk I go by the name of Ferrari Simmons Sir introduce yourself to the camera Hey Money Coach That's me Money Coach baby Tell them how to follow you sir hey, You can follow me Money Coach TV Now let's talk about Money Coach TV What is Money Coach TV first? You know Money Coach TV is a lifestyle You know my background is in wealth management Okay. As, a, as an annuity specialist I've been doing this since I was in high school Annuity specialist, annuity specialist. What is that? <laughs> Good question it's a savings vehicle that insurance companies offer that pay more interest than the CDs and it protect your principal and the interest, unlike the stock market. Okay. So I've been doing that since I was in high school. The teachers thought I was a drug dealer. They thought I was a pimp. And they thought I was a pastor because I'd be suited and booted. And I started meeting with them during their lunch break and I started educating them on their portfolio. And a lot of my teachers became my clients in high school. So let's rewind their portfolio so for someone who doesn't know what that is what is a portfolio it's, on what you're educating people on that's a good question basically it's investments it could be stocks bonds mutual funds real estate art whatever you have in a bucket that's investments that's an asset it's, it's a portfolio and how did someone like yourself get into this at such an early age because you said high school yeah i was blessed by the best and still is my dad put me in a game he shined it down on me he put me in a game when i was 18 years old okay shout out to your dad yeah. um so you were educated with learning all this information and then you turned it into, you monetized it for yourself. Okay. So um, when did you start professionally doing it? Because you were doing it in high school, right? I'm pretty sure you're yeah. doing it. And um, Are you charging at this particular moment? or? That's, so I had to get my license at 18. Okay. I got my license. And I could have charged. And what kind of license did you well, have the, to do? It's an insurance license. Everybody To be able to sell it. Some like, yes, sir, to sell it. Okay. So I got my life insurance license to do annuities, and then I get paid from the insurance companies that I represent. Okay. So if I look at your portfolio and I see you may be earning 1%, 2%, okay. like the CDs is given, okay. I can get you, say, 5 to 10% for the first year. Then you make money, and then the insurance company gave me a referral fee for bringing you mm. to them. Okay. So you're in high school. Now you're 18. You... You start doing this legally now. Yeah. Uh, what's your first thing? Who do you have big clients? Like, you don't have to. Ne I know legally you may not be able to say, but no. My my first client came from when I was 16, 17, I was washing cars, going to my neighborhood, okay. washing cars, and then when I got my license, I went to the lady's house who I was washing her cars. I went with my storybook and my business suit in the Wall Street Journal, and I told her I won't be washing her car no more. I want to present what I'm doing now, and it could benefit her portfolio. And, and she was like, okay. And she gave me like, she invested rather, 5000 in the annuity. That was like my first one. And then I told my dad, and he was like, hey, you ready? Then we started going, I started going to high school, dressed for success with the business suit on. And then I started to bring the teachers into their lunchroom and offer them lunch. Mm -hmm. I do a seminar, basically. Right. And I talk about the Wall Street ups and downs. Okay. And how they can design their portfolio against loss. And some of them believed in me. Some of them was like, nah, I don't know about all that. But I still go to the, I'm from Cleveland, Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, I went to Ohio. Glenville that, High School. So okay. I shout out to the Ville. So I still go back. So some of the teachers who didn't listen to me, they're like, Abu, can you help me with my portfolio now? I'm like, well, if you still got some money left in there, yeah. if you would have moved it now, earlier, you wouldn't have lost 10% a year. Mm. So, you know, then. So, so now, when did you come up with your name? So, Money Coach, I came up with that. My first rap name was, I was in a group with my cousins when I was 13. So, was, you're, so you're doing music also? Yeah. While you're doing this, you're also doing music? Yeah. Okay. We was the Funky Natives when I was 13 years old. Okay. We'd be in the basement rehearsing. My mom would be like on some Joe Jackson vibes, making sure we was rehearsing and everything like that. So it was always love that I had. And then my rap, as I got like 21 when I was rapping, my name was h Wo Hollywood. Like Hollywood, h Wo for short. And as I got a little older and more mature, I seen that the youth really needed uh, some motivation. Mm -hmm. So I started to do like audio books. So I went from H. Wo to H. Wo the money coach. Mm. And then I just dropped the H. Wo part and the part and just kept money, money coach. coach. Yeah. So. Okay. So let's talk about the music. So now you're the money coach. You have clients and you're doing that. Yeah. When do you say, okay. Let me focus on some music, too, because, you know, sometimes some things take, you know, <clears throat> requires attention. Man, dude, attention, love, sweat, tears. Music always been my first love. And um, 
It's only like it's like Tony Stark's and Iron Man. You know how Iron Man was like the superhero, and then Tony Stark's is the yeah, he the was the business, yeah, billion, so like billionaire businessman. I feel like the rap is like my money coach, okay, and then my my profession is like the Tony Stark's, the Abu, okay. So I always been rapping, and I never I never stopped. I just kept going, and everything just been coming to line and investing in myself and staying true to my business. Put me in position where I can go to Magic City and spend two, three thousand, and use it as a tax write-off because of the education and having the finance to do it at the same time. So you saying right now you go, you can go to Magic City as an artist and as as a businessman and do a tax write-off, throwing money. Yep. Wow. Did it last night, and I just gotta let my accountant know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Now uh, let's talk about the music. Uh, sure. um, what do you have out right now? What do you What do you promote? Hey man, you see my guy Ross Media over there? Yeah, I see him over there. I see man, him over there. Got the Kango hat too. That boy, cool. Player, man. player. Cooler than cool. I ain't see a Kango in a minute. In I know he's a player <laughs> for real. He be dropping so much game on me. It's good to have a wise brother around you. Mm -hmm. But um, we did three videos this week. Okay. Now the last video we did is toxic. The most current video is Toxic. Okay. Man, that joint, when I check my phone right now, it's probably at 2 million views. It was at 1.9 when I threw the last dollar at the stripper last night. It was at 1.9 when I was checking. Okay. <laughs> so it's probably at 2 million. And we finna drop another one. It's called Baby Tonight. Okay. Man, it's gonna give you like Michael Jackson, Pharrell, okay. Andre 3000 vibes type. Okay. Vibes, not that level, but vibes. Like he almost sound like. Right, right, right. But not almost like it, right. but just a little bit. <laughs> right, right, right. It's definitely going to make you feel good. And shout out to Chief. Chief told me something. I sent her my toxic video, and I paid her for promo. Okay. I've been flirting with her, trying to get her nails did, everything. <laughs> <laughs> and I sent her the toxic video, and she posted it, and she took it down. And I said, is it too ratchet for you, my love? On some Romeo Juliet vibe. Is mm -hmm. it too much? You know what I'm saying? She's like, right, right. yeah, basically my, my my followers really ain't rocking with it. And as a woman, it don't make me feel good. So I'm like, hey, I want to make all the women feel good. So I start thinking. She said women want to feel good when they listen to music. So I'm like, okay. I took that into the game room with Ross, and he picked the video that we shot, Baby Tonight, because it make the women feel good. I shot the video at Playhouse Studios, LLC. And um, the girls, like the vibe of like doing a music video while you uplifting women and still flirting with them mm -hmm. and still tipping them, mm -hmm. it was like they was like in a trance, like a love drug trance, like a finance love drug tra trance. Like it was just, the energy was like so elevated mm -hmm. versus me doing a song about throwing money on a big booty cutie. Okay. That energy is cool too, but they there to make money. Digging the lingo. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. All right. So, uh. I saw you got you got something for me. Man, that's for a true entrepreneur. Nah, I, I don't even want to pop this, bro. Like I collect nope. alcohol, so I don't really I'm not a drinker. I knew so you I have like say a full, that. I have a fully stocked bar in my at my crib. You know why you don't pop it? Because you keep big things popping. So don't yeah. don't pop it. So I'm not gonna pop this. Yeah, I appreciate I seen that. that. I'm like, okay. This is fire. It's got my it's, it's it's literally I don't even know how you do stuff like this. This is fire. You have to put me on. Divine synchronicity, man. I was over there on Camp Creek liquor store. I'm like, yo, I still got time. Let me pop in there and get uh, Ferrari a gift Fire. for the new uh, accomplishment that you achieved Thank with, you, brother. With, the, with the movement and the record label and everything. Appreciate it. I'm like, man, should I get some Don Julio 1942? Over, 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 uh, I, th I think it's overdue. You know, nah, I, I be doing real, a lot of stuff behind the scenes, but it's definitely dope. I appreciate you You've been you down since up. the sidewalk was a dirty ground, man. And yeah. I like how you represent with your family, your queen. Yeah, appreciate That's, that. That, that means a lot, bro, because... You know, I'm just going through a breakup. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. This is your care for telling people, uh, give the people some motivation. Say your name first and, uh, you know, just pop your shit. Hey, Money Coach TV. God is great. Paper straight. The day you lay off is a dead don't pay off. Always have some gratitude in your attitude. And if I knew I could have cussed, I would have been popping more shit in this motherfucker. Rory Talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rory Talk. Yeah, so you know